Hello everybody, welcome back to Tim's Motorcycle Adventures. Today uh, we are continuing on on the series uh, that I did on my trip to Moab. Today we're going to uh, look at Onion Creek Road. Uh, this is uh, just a fantastic road that uh, we were able to, to ride. And um, I think in total I counted 27 water crossings, little small ones like that. Um, nothing too uh, major or challenging, but um, you know, as we're, we're going along, um, you're never really sure how deep it is or how muddy it is or how slippery it is underneath. And so um, we just, uh, you know, we, we were just there for a good time. So we uh, wanted to take our time and, and just relax and enjoy this beautiful scenery. And I think that's what this road is all about. Um, you know, you'll see in a bit, there's, uh, there's some Jeeps and things, uh, side by sides coming. And uh, it's a, a, a used road, and so uh, we had to be careful not go too fast. Um, but just the scenery is spectacular. Unfortunately, uh, my my GoPro got unplugged, and so the audio for the GoPro didn't work. So, um, yeah, that's uh, it's unfortunate. It's kind of the uh, the downside of the whole uh, setup that I have uh, is one little bump and all of a sudden you can lose audio but um, but you know at least uh, we can ride along and uh, and check out this beautiful scenery uh, this video is I mean you know I, I hope you enjoy it uh, it's mostly just uh, for for me and, and the guys to remember this road um, it was just uh, such a great time to be out there with the, with the guys and um, experiencing this together um, it was a little cooler than uh, than it would have been uh, down in the canyons on the white rim and and so yeah, it was just a, a really phenomenal phenomenal time some of these creeks have a lot of sand in them and uh, a lot of pebbles and so they were a little bit loose but uh, nothing nothing too bad uh, I'm sure if there was flash flooding um, that uh, they would get really scary in this canyon. Um, it's one thing that you have to be careful of in, in Moab is the flash flooding. And I wasn't really uh, even aware how bad it could be. Um, and since then I've watched some videos on the flash flooding and uh, it can get really, really scary. So um, I'm glad it was a nice sunny day. Um, it, was, it was pretty hot, uh, but that's kind of the nice part was splashing through water like this too, right? Is that, uh, uh, you know, you're a little bit warm, but uh, the bit of water splashing up on you can cool you down. So that's that's really great. Other than the water crossings, it's really a pretty smooth road. Um, it uh, seems to be well maintained, and um, you know there was jeeps and, uh, and side by sides on it as well. But uh, I, you don't really need a high clearance, I think, uh, maybe for a couple of the water crossings. But um, ultimately, it was it was pretty good. on the top of these canyons are pretty spectacular. They just stick up out of nowhere, it seems, and I can't figure out why some of them don't just topple over. You'll notice too that uh, the camera is a little bit shaky on my helmet cam, and uh, we were doing a lot of you know rough off-road, but it was also really hot. And my uh, GoPro is mounted uh, with a chin mount uh, that's just uh, basically a double-sided 
sticky tape kind of thing holding it on and um, on the way back down uh, this road the, it got so hot that uh, it actually peeled off the chin mount and I wasn't able to use the chin mount for the rest of the trip because uh, I just didn't trust that the camera would stay on. in the distance there just a one stick of rock just kind of sticking up and uh, it's it's hard to see on this video but um, it, it was actually quite tall and uh, just thought that was really impressive This little creek just switches back and forth and back and forth and it's all the same creek just um, the road kind of goes opposite of uh, what the creek is doing so uh, it just kind of crosses back and forth and back and forth. Yeah, it was just a lot of fun splashing through the puddles with these big bikes. Sometimes it's hard to even keep your eyes on the road because the, the scenery in this canyon was just spectacular. But you really had to watch because uh, you don't want to fall off the edge of that. Going around some of these corners, you really can't see what's coming. And after we just passed a truck, I was a little hesitant to uh, just rip around a corner before kind of seeing what was there. I don't know if that bridge counts as a water crossing, but I technically went over, but I didn't count it. See, there's just a Toyota SUV going up this, so it's not like major 4x4 off-roading. It's, uh, it's a pretty accessible road. The deeper you get in, the, the higher these canyon walls get. And, uh, 
it was pretty cool to ride through there. The audio I do have here is actually from my Insta360 camera. So sometimes you're going to get some wind noise and some rattling and some uh, different sounds that are coming out the back end of the bike, but uh, at least I had some audio and uh, it wasn't just silence. really hard to tell on the GoPro but uh, there's definitely some elevation changes and uh, uh, that was uh, a bit of a steeper hill as, as we're climbing up from the creek and then uh, for a ways here we'll climb up and uh, I don't think there's a creek crossing coming up in, in a bit but um, the road definitely goes up for a while and yet and then eventually it comes back down and, uh, and we find the creek again. There were some pretty big boulders in the middle and uh, it's always fun when it's just kind of a straight road to try to launch off of those boulders. I love the varying terrain as well. I mean, we just went through this canyon with these huge rock piles sticking up into the air, and and now we're into a place that has a lot more bush and a little more hilly, and it's kind of interesting. And then we're back to the water.
that was probably one of the deeper water crossings that we went through and uh, as you can see there's uh, there's a bit of water Love these little trees as we rode under. There's not a lot of trees around here, but uh, I guess the creek probably waters those trees enough that they grow a little bit better. kind of see here that we're starting to climb. This is probably the steepest section here as we climb up. It's probably a section that we should be careful con coming down, but you'll see that in the next video. while here now we just kind of ride at the top uh, top of the hill great views all the way around
hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you made it this far well you might as well hit that subscribe button if you haven't already uh, there's more videos coming I'm gonna do one on the way back down it was a little eventful Ooh, how much swap what do you have oh, I love it man. I'm like so oh, inside my helmet I This is always the fun part where we get to compare notes and uh, talk about the ride. That's why it's so great traveling with some friends. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs>